Oftentimes, I try to remain optimistic when we get news like this. This is not one of those times. What is up, Netflix and Avatar fans? Welcome back to my channel. My goodness, one of my more anticipated shows in a long time has been the live-action incarnation of Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, is it because I have the utmost confidence in the world? Not necessarily. It'll just be really cool to maybe see a version of our characters on the... Oh, wait, we already got that. We'll maybe see another one that's not the worst thing ever, right? I was excited for this show. But we got some news earlier today that really has me scratching my head. So the goal of today's video is kind of dive deeper into this. And uh, you all, as well as me, will come out um, trying to make sense of all of this information. Now, the original source for this, I just, I honestly think it's so heavy in terms of traffic right now. I'm not able to pull it up, but we are going to read this article from Screen Rant talking about the fact that the original creators from Avatar The Last Airbender have officially exited the new version of the show on Netflix. You see right here, Michael and Brian announced their exit from Netflix's live action adaptation of the show, uh, which is tragic. This show has had a horrible track record of adaptations with this news. Obviously, you know the movie and now the fact that, and this doesn't mean, just to start out on this note, this doesn't mean that this show is going to be horrible. It just means that the creative differences between the creators and Netflix were so strong that the original creators departed. Now, if you're asking my honest opinion, this is terrible news because... They are what brought this show to life in the first place, and we wanted them present, even if they were going to spin it in slightly, you know, a bit of a different direction. We want them there to assure that they don't take these characters and spin them in a crazy direction that won't appeal to fans present. So, take a breath, let's just kind of soak this in and see what they had to say. So as this article says, Avatar has recently experienced a resurgence of sorts with The Legend of Korra coming uh, this weekend, actually, and the original show being one of the longest running top 10 since they've had that technology top 10 shows on Netflix ever. I believe it may be the longest in the top 10 which is insane. And that just shows the power of the show and the love that fans have for the show. But here's where the bad news kicks in. So there has been an open letter on DiMartino's personal website posted announcing that the two have exited production. Though he doesn't explicitly state the reasons for their exit, he infers that it came down to what we just talked about, creative differences between the partners and Netflix. And here's what he wrote, I'll just read it all at once. When Brian and I signed on to the project in 2018, we were hired as executive producers and showrunners. In a joint announcement for the series, Netflix said that it was committed to honoring our vision for this retelling and to supporting us on creating the series. And we expressed how excited we were for the opportunity to be at the helm. Unfortunately, things did not go the way we had hoped. Uh-oh. And who knows? Netflix's live-action adaptation of Avatar has the potential to be good. It might turn out to be a show that many of you end up enjoying, but what I can be certain about is whatever version ends up on screen, it will not be what Brian and I had envisioned or intended to make. Just a long pause. It's not good, guys. We often see creative differences between studios and creators and and it, this is a bit of a different situation because these are the creators involved in a live action adaptation. What should have originally happened with the Shyamalan, whatever that was, right? So this was all going well thus far. Live action, bit of a different take, uh, something a little bit fresh, but we want to keep our characters intact. But now they're gone. And now it's all up to Netflix. It's in the hands of Netflix. And, and don't get me wrong, right? Netflix, they have created plenty of great shows. This has me worried. Uh, I'm, I'm raising the red flag here. I, I don't know if I'm officially done with what's going to happen. Obviously, I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to appreciate it. But I am very worried as to what is going to happen to Avatar The Last Airbender. This live-action adaptation. Like I said, I was so hesitantly excited because it scares me just that love and passion we have for the show. But here's where you guys come in. And again, I'm just reporting the news. Thank God I had no part in creating this news. I, this is just... Ugh. It's frustrating, guys. This is the show I wanted them to get right. It could have been the next big thing for Netflix. But now we'll just have to see how it goes. And there's still a shot right. Again, it's happened before. And some of these projects have turned out okay. 
but I have a lot of negativity in my heart and brain right now towards this project. Um, again, we just, we just have to wait and see. Patience is something that I don't have, but I'm working on it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please leave your comments. If you'd like me to bring you more updates on this Avatar show, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd love to do it. And if not, well, we won't do it. Seriously, guys, I appreciate it. And um, let's all go um, let's take, a, take, a, take a deep breath and take a nap. That's, that's what I'm going to do.